But you literally couldn't have written it any better. That the first day after four years of the countdown waits, not only do we get a record, we get a very rare 1.5 record, which is a full round, which went all the way and no one got it because it was a crucial. And then the early one, the second one, so we ended up with 201 in the 15th round, so what, 15, 16th. Doing a record of 2599, that'll take a while before we can top that because obviously we do the one a day extra. 1.938 on the millions, 52,000 for the month, so it won't be to the 55k from January, but it'll get pretty close to beating it. And 210,000 for the year itself. So, yeah, the new one of a fifth year, and we have a brand new record. Well, one time, nothing big. And we're all done. So, a new game, Hidden Cats in New York. We played London, we played in the castle. So, Hidden Cats in New York. Well, it was something we expected, considering we started to be on six inches on that exactly a year ago in May. So, it's coming out of Game Pass in the middle of May. So, back on it to see if we can get a bit more unlocks or maybe even complete it before it comes out. No, oh, and then one, it's not a record, but it is, well, it would have been here before yesterday, 2570. Because 171 is done, but obviously yesterday's all time high is going to take some beating. 1.94 million, 2399 overall for the PCD. A month of 55,230, which is very close to equaling the best ever. Just under 336, so that's pretty close. And 213k for the year itself. Oh, it's another midweek trip to Sam and Warrington for the scholars. It begins at Wigan North Western for a change of Warrington. Okay. We've now arrived at Warrington Bank Key, so welcome to Johnny Park. Well, it was a bit of a walk, but we got to Victoria Park eventually. On Sunday, it will be a lot less strenuous because it's a bus all the way. So that's the point. 705 overall, 612 for Wigan. Third against Warrington Scholars, played 1 1 1, so we'll break even somewhere. 182nd away trip, 29 Scholars. Third, Scholars in 2024. Again, one win and one loss. Three consecutive wins with the home floor and 30 attendance in 2024. So, our first half that couldn't have been much closer, just like the game that we saw a few weeks ago. It's Warrington 4, Wigan no. Well, it's become a best tradition for Wigan Scholars. Lose. To win the first game, we've now lost two in a row, and we've not really looked good in either of them. We just out four today. The score was Warrington Scholars 19, Wigan 6, but Warrington missed all but one kick, so it could have been a hell of a lot more, but it is what it is. So, it's Catlands tomorrow, it's then. KR reserves on Saturday and it's back here for the nines on Sunday. <laughs> so back in Wigan. Next trip out tomorrow for a home game in Scotland. So DW again tonight, 706 overall, 613 for Wigan, 20 against Scotland, we've never seen them away, don't forget. 16 wins, three losses, one game winners, three being an HBO four, we to avoid a 90th home loss while getting a 290th home win. So to avoid consecutive losses after last night and 31 attendances for 2024. Saturday afternoon over the road. Early morning Saturday start, well, pre-afternoon anyway. we at RPA for the reserves against KR, and then obviously we're off to Warrington tomorrow with the women. So hopefully the winning weekend continues. We arrived at RPA, obviously this is the last reserves game for, I think, at least a month. Because the next reserves game here is on the 18th of May, and we'll be up in Doncaster. Because somebody decided to put a semi-final on the same day. Stats for today, 707 overall, 614 for Wigan, third against KR Revs. On one thing, played 2 1 2. 295th game between here, over the road, and in the Leisure Centre. We are hoping to again avoid the 90th home loss. 29th reserves game, looking for consecutive wins after Thursday night. And 30 second attendance in 2024. Fairly mixed first half, which ended with Wigan down to 12 after a yellow card, but yep. Yeah. Down in front, Wigan 12, okay, our reserves now. Full time here at RPA, and well, 12 no half time became a very comfortable second half score. Of Wigan 44, okay, our reserves no. So, winning weekend continues. So, the game continues on radio on Windows 10. It was a bit awkward trying to recomplete it on the box, so let's see if we can do a bit better on this. Continuing. And there you go, radio Windows 10, 5k out of 5k, 30 out of 30, unlocked, not even to this game. 
Well, a very early start on a Sunday morning because because Avanti are doing work on the trains. There's no train to Warrington from Wigan, which would normally have been a nice ten minute one after the bus. So it's like two years ago when we did the nines the first time. It's a bus to Wigan, train to St. Towns, then bus to Warrington. And this is to try and see twelve different games this afternoon in what is always a good festival. Well that's like one done, bus to Wigan. So at Wigan North Western for the train to St. Towns. Well, not ever goes right when it comes to travel with me. As you can see, quite clear, we are in Warrington. And there's a taxi which you just had to get because when we were at North Western, the train was delayed, went past the time of it was due to arrive, and then they decided, ooh, we're just going to tell people now that it's cancelled. So at 10 to 9, I was basically told by Northern, you want to get to St. Helens, you have three ways of doing it. You walk it. You get a taxi or you get a bus. The only problem is there's no bus to St. Helens from Wigan until just before 10 o'clock. So basically, we were left with a taxi which has just cost me £31. So this is what was a fun day. It's not going to be a very costly one. But what are you? We're in Warrington now before we would have even got on the bus in St. Helens. So hopefully this is enjoyable and worth the money. Because it's free entry for the actual games, which is the biggest idea of all. Oh, as you can see, we're here at Victoria Park. A little less organised than last year. There was no fixture list beforehand, and I had to just basically write it all down at the reception. There used to be sheets and posters everywhere. I think this year, I don't think a lot of people were expecting it to actually happen. So, that's why it looks a bit rushed, but what are you? Plan on doing 12 different games across the different groups, so we'll see what happens. So, first game of the day for me, and just like last year, it's a completely brand new experience, this one. It's Telford against Leamington. Obviously the first time we've ever seen them play together. 33rd women's nines overall. Uh, 33rd women's nines, 43rd nines overall. 33rd attendance in 2024. So it's Telford against Leamington. Half time in game one on pitch two. It's Leamington Royals ladies seven. Telford Raiders no. Full time in group two game one. Leamington very comfortable from what I had as it was Telford Raiders no. Leamington Royals ladies 24. Oh, game two of the day, it's Lee against Widnes, just like the first one, it's a completely new experience. It's the first time we've ever seen them play each other, 34th women's nines, 44th nines overall, 34th attendance in 2024, and 709th overall. Half time in game two, it's Lee 9, Widnes nil. So, full time in group one, game two, comfortable, Lee 20, Widnes nil. Game 3 of the day is Warrington against Lee. Another brand new meeting for me, 7-10 overall, 35 women's nines, other 45, 45 women's nines overall, 35th of the sentence in 2024. Off we go. So, half time here, couldn't really separate the two. Warrington women, no. Lee Leopards women, no. Well, full time in this one, it was pretty close. Warrington did avoid the defeat in the end. Warrington 6, Lee Leopards 4. So, game four of group one, we are doing three in a row one here and then we're finishing off on group two in a bit. So it's Witness against York, it's again a brand new meeting, so it's another one to add to the list. 7-11 overall, 36 women's nines other, 36 attendance in 2024, 46 nines overall, and yep, let's go. Half time in game four on group one, Witness seven, York nine. So full time on this pitch and a comfortable win for York, we'll add the score later on because we just need to do a couple of checks. So a bit of a pitch move and now back on pitch two for the remainder of the day. This one is limited against Leeds, 37 nines other, 37 attendance, 47 nines overall. It's first meeting 710 overall. Half time on this pitch, not too sure of the score because obviously being on this pitch is no tannoy, but it is half time anyway. So final game in the group two is St. Helens against Telford. 7.13 overall, 38 nines, 38th attendance the year and 48 nines overall. So I'll complete this group and we're good. So a strong first half in this game. It was St. Helens 24, Telford nil. Full time in game six of this one. Not too sure the score it was a bit rapid, but we know St. Helens did win that one. So I'll see group one and two done. There's a bit of a break for a bit.
So we've had quite a lot of pictures, 10 new girls. Here we go, Wiggins off. 7.40 in a world, 6.15 for Wiggins, 39th attendance, 6th against Huddersfield women, which is a perfect score of 5 wins. Look with 3 wins in a row, 11th Wigan 9s, and 49th 9s overall. Half time in game 1, quarter ball so far for Wigan, Wigan 10, Huddersfield 9. Full time in game 1, it's a win for Wigan. I had the score of 16 4, but you never know, I could be wrong with that one. But it's a win all the same. Game 2, group 4, Southwood against London, 7.15 overall. 40th attendance in 2024, 50th women's nines, 100th other, 39th nines other overall. Close first half of game two, I've got it as Salford nil, London four. So full time in game two, and I had that at Salford seven, London eight, but you never know these days, scores are wild at the moment. So second game of the day for Wigan, third one in this group, Wigan against London, 7-16 overall, 6-1-6 for Wigan. It is, well, second time we played London, we played them in this competition last year, and we won, so it's one win. 41st attendance, looking for consecutive wins, 12th Wigan 9 to 51st Wigan 9 to overall. Comfortable first half from Wigan, I have it as Wigan 18, London 7. So full time in game 3, I had it as Wigan 31, London 11. So game's covering thick and fast, this one is now south with Huddersfield, 7-17 overall, 42nd attendance, 40th 9 to other. Second time we've seen these two play each other, 101st other. Oh, but did lose to Huddersfield in 2022, so they're going to get some revenge for this, hopefully. So, half time in game four, I have it as Huddersfield 12, I want to say. Yep, 12, Salford nil. Not a lot of people here, so it's harder to get a lot of the scores in. So, game number four, I think it is a losing count now. Come to a win for Huddersfield in the end over Salford. Well, Wigan's campaign on today comes to an end with a game against Salford. This one is a 718th overall, 617th for Wigan. Fifth against Salford, played 4 1 4, over five consecutive wins, 53rd women's lands overall, 43rd spot attendance in 2024. Half time in game five, comfortable for Wigan so far, Wigan 14, Salford 4. So, full time, and Wigan have done the job. They booked the place in the finals on the 27th of July. Full time, Wigan 20, Salford 4. So, final game, Huddersfield against London, 7-19 overall, 44th attendance, 41st 9 other, first meeting, 102 other, and that's the ones for the day, this is the final one. So, full time, and Huddersfield win the final game, not too sure of the score, but that's all done, 12 games done and dusted, and what I thought. So, gaming continues, we are on Detta Enhanced Edition, see if we can be completed. You can see, Detta Enhanced Edition, all complete, 25-25, 4,000, 4,000.